This DriveWorks Express how-to video will cover how to capture and drive a dimension within DriveWorks Express. To capture and drive a dimension, you will need to have captured your assembly first. If you are unsure of how to do this, watch the DriveWorks Express how-to video covering how to capture an assembly. Firstly, to capture a dimension from. To do this, double click on the model within the Capture Structure Assembly tab. I'm going to double click on the Supports model in the assembly tree. This will cause the model to open within SOLIDWORKS. You will now be able to capture and drive a dimension. Firstly, click on the Dimensions and Features tab within the DriveWorks Express task pane. This tab will allow you to decide which parameters from a model that you want to capture and drive. On the Supports model part, only one dimension needs to be captured for the height. By using the SOLIDWORKS feature tree on the left hand side of the screen, Double click on the feature containing the dimension you wish to capture. To capture the height, I am going to click on the Boss Extrude 1 feature. As soon as the feature is selected, dimensions will appear on your model. I am going to select the 1000 dimension by clicking on it. When you have selected a dimension, the dimension colour turns from black to light blue. Also notice that when you click on the dimension within the SOLIDWORKS model, the SOLIDWORKS name for the dimension appears in the DriveWorks Express task pane. As well as this, a text box labelled Name appears underneath. By typing a name into this text box, you can rename your dimension within DriveWorks Express with a more specific and recognisable name. This will help in the later stages of a project, when you'll have to create rules for the dimensions and features you have captured. This dimension is going to be named Height, as it is important in determining the height of the shelving unit. Click Add to capture the dimension. You can now see the dimension within the Dimensions and Features tab in the DriveWorks Express task pane. Now let's capture another dimension. To see all the models within the shelving unit assembly again, click the Captured Models tab. Double click the side panel model from the model tree. The side panel model will now open within SOLIDWORKS. In the SOLIDWORKS Feature Manager pane, click on the Boss Extrude 1 feature and then select the dimension of 1000 that appears on the model. As this dimension is also important in driving the height of the shelving unit, I'm also going to name this dimension Height. Make sure you click Add to ensure the feature is captured. I will now need to capture one more dimension to make sure I can drive the height of the entire shelving unit assembly. Click the Captured Models tab. Double click the Back Panel model. After the model is opened in SOLIDWORKS, click the Boss Extrude 1 feature from the SOLIDWORKS Feature Manager task pane and then select the dimension of 1000 that appears on the model. This dimension should be named Height as well. All the dimensions for the shelving unit assembly to drive the assembly height have now been captured using DriveWorks Express. To find out how to drive these dimensions by using rules, watch the DriveWorks Express how-to videos relating to rule building. 